This is a short film created to open up the dance processes we explored during stimming research and development. This research residency navigates the relationship between dance and the rhythmic repetitive movements we do to regulate sensory input from our emotions and our environment. These movements are known as stimming movements. They're a universal part of human behaviour, but can be particularly important for neurodivergent people who may experience differences in sensory processing. By exploring the space between stimming and dancing, we aimed to find ways to dismantle the barriers we experience to dance as neurodivergent artists. The setting is a large dance studio with white walls and wooden flooring, a ballet bar running against the right hand wall and daylight pouring in from two large windows in the far corner. The people you will encounter are three neurodivergent dance artists in our mid to late twenties. Abby, Danny and me, Susanna. Abby and I use she, her pronouns and Danny uses they, them pronouns. We are all Caucasian, slim and have varying styles of short brown hair. It's summer and we're wearing shorts, t-shirts and socks in different pastel shades. The film captures an improvisation in which we explored what happened when our choices were led by how movement feels rather than how it looks. Each decision we made was a step into a sensory dialogue, moving in response to texture, light, how we were feeling in our bodies, like the sensation of tiredness, heaviness or energetic charge, and how we were affected by each other's sounds and rhythms. We were guided by leaning into repetition and leaning into what feels good. During the improvisation, we never make direct eye contact or physical contact with each other. This wasn't planned, but reflects what felt comfortable and enabled us to be within our listening, sensing bodies and the soft focus with which we were able to share rhythm and space with each other. The film cuts between one wide shot of the studio, in which all three of us are visible, and close frames of the parts of our bodies in which our movement is focused. The film we captured will be accompanied by a poem, which communicates some of the expressions and ideas that came out of our discussions during the residency. Hi, I'm Jacob, and I'll be reading the poem. Okay, here we go. A pale pink screen hazily fades, revealing a large light dance studio. Three figures wander around the space. Three sensory seeking bodies. Three bodies settling into sensing. Abby in orange and I in yellow are padding slowly. Danny in blue is skating playing out a dialogue between soft blue socks and skiddy polished dance floor. We settle. Feet rooting to the ground, mine and Abby's heads bob like balloons floating up from our spines. Danny's blue socks beat a rhythm against their calves, shifting weight from left to right. A knocking, shifting, swinging body. Oblivious to each other, Abby and I are sinking further into a dance with the rolling weight of our skulls. A murmuring, stirring, sinking body. Danny's shifting movement continues. A body following a thread of attention. Abby weaves her head through the air in gooey figures of eight. She chases a sensation that ripples down her spine, her feet in orange socks pivoting, screwing down into the floor. Abby and Danny's movements loosen out and scatter across the space. A body leaning into what feels good. My feet still rooted to the ground. I'm being wound around and around by the weight of my skull as it circles my back, 
It opens my chest and my voice. Abby and Danny land side by side in a swiveling unison. Their arms swing around orange and blue torsos, hands knocking their front and back bodies. Two bodies finding a shared plane of experience. Their swinging arms continue, as Abby opens her mouth wide to let out a tuneful yawn. I spiral downwards, finding the floor. A body that wants to make noise. Abby's yawn leads her into a slow, full-body stretch, circling her arms up. Then she half crumples, half melts, down into the floor. Danny spins away, and then folds from standing to sitting. Three bodies in conversation with the floor. Lying on my side, I pedal my feet, yellow socks sliding in circles over the floor. Danny shifts around the space, rhythmically swaying their weight from one hand to another. Abby lies on her back, arms forming a T-shape as her skull begins a rhythmic rocking that travels down her spine. Danny begins drumming their fingers on the floor. Abby rolls onto her belly to join Danny's rhythm by pitter-pattering her feet on the floor. Three bodies in dialogue, becoming each other's sensory landscape of sound and rhythm. Danny lies on their back, eyes closed. They begin a percussive improvisation between the floor, the padded flats of their palms and their ringed fingers. Circling to sit up, I join the collective rainstorm of limbs pummeling the floor, beating down with the backs of my legs. Our collective rainstorm continues. It fades into a fidgety moment of rest as the rhythm ripples through our joints. A body that's seeking back and forth. Still sitting, I draw my knees up. My feet are flat on the floor in front of me, my hands supporting behind my back. Between these four points of contact, I rock my pelvis back and forth. The momentum carries it up and over my feet. Slowly, my hands pad out in front onto all fours. I reach upwards through my tailbone, into a padding, swaying triangle. Abby, still lying on her belly, rubs her feet together in orange socks. A body that seeks touch and texture. Danny, still lying on their back, begins to ripple their fingers through the air, arms following, twisting outwards and upwards. A body seeking its edges through vertical reach. Abby spirals up into sitting, 
scanning the room, a gentle sway rotating her spine. A body experiencing the weight of its bones. From a swaying forward fold, I roll up my spine. My arms swing loosely as I continue shifting my weight from front to back foot. A body being moved by momentum. Danny and Abby find their way to standing. Abby, pacing across the space, is shaking a beat out through loose fingers and wrists body shaking energy out and then gathering it back in. Picking up Abby's rhythm, my swaying becomes a bouncing, rattling my shoulders loosely up and down. Abby pivots tightly, gathers momentum. She whirls round, winds up, thrusts elbows in and out. A body that wants to do everything. Abby unspools, spinning out, limbs flinging her across the space. A body released from judgment. Danny softly launches into a skip, circling the room. I am scooped up by the momentum of their skipping, wafting and weaving around the space, following individually and overlapping curved pathways. Yellow and blue socks skip across the screen. Abby begins to pick up our rhythm, pivoting to our lilt. Her feet in orange socks, springing up and landing in rhythm with our skips. Now all three of us skip loops of the room. Three bodies sharing the joy of familiar movements. Each person's skip takes on its own characteristics as we lean into what feels good to us. As we each settle into new places in the space, the skipping finds its differing ways to rebound through our bodies. Shifting weight, bouncing knees, swinging elbows. Danny breaks out of rhythm, going through a series of rolling movements up and down their spine. Then they reach out and drop their arms repeatedly. A body shedding shame. Danny dips down to sit on the floor, arms clasping their knees. A resting body. They yawn, then let their head hang forwards. Two bodies caught in reverberation, meeting in blurry unison. From behind, Abby and I stand side by side. Our heads snake smoothly in figures of eight, falling in and out of unison. To cease to be still when there is rhythm in the room. We continue as it fades to a cloudy, pale pink. <laughs>